In this video, we'll discuss about international patient safety goal. Sixth one, reduce the risk of patient harm resulting from falls. What are the international patient safety goal? First one is identify patient correctly. Second one is improve effective communication. Third one is improve the safety of high altered medication. Fourth one is ensure correct size, correct procedure, correct patient surgery. Fifth one is reduce the risk of health care associated infection. Five things completed. Now sixth one is reduce the risk of patient harm resulting from falls. So let's move on the topic here. Sixth one is reduce the risk of patient harm resulting from falls. There are uh, two most commonly used tools to assess the fall risk. The first one is Moore's fall scale which are using to assess the fall risk if adult. And the second one is Humpty Dumpty scale which are using to assess the fall risk in pediatrics. Let's, let's discuss Moore's fall scale in detail uh, that Moore's fall scale is used to assess the risk of fall in adult. It uh, consists of six variables. First one is history of falls, secondary diagnosis, ambulatory aids, IV or IV access, then gait, the last one is mental status. Let's see about each one in detail. First one is history of fall. If your patient is having any history of fall, you can give an a score of 25. If not, 0. Next one is uh, secondary diagnosis. First of all, we should know the Different between primary diagnosis and secondary diagnosis. Let me clarify uh, this with an example. For instance, a patient got admit in a hospital with complaint of loose tools. So the primary diagnosis is gastroenteritis, and some patient has background history of diabetes hypertension then that will be considered as secondary diagnosis which required treatment too so for your patient if there is any secondary diagnosis you can give a score of 15 so primary diagnosis uh, loose tools means diagnosis gastroenteritis. In the case of secondary diagnosis, uh, which require treatment for other diseases like diabetes, hypertension. Uh, so, uh, secondary diagnosis, you can give on the score 15. If not, you can give the score of 0. Next one is ambulatory. Uh, aid, ambulatory aid, that is usage of um, assistive device, that is uses of assistive, assistive device. If your patient is not at all using any assistive device or even assisted by nurse or bed rest, does not get out of the bed, then you can give a score of zero. So here, assessive device. What are the assessive device? What are the assessive device? Crutches, can, walker. Okay, these are the things. So if the patient is using assessive device like crutches, scan, walker, then you can give a score of 15. If the patient ambulant, uh, ambulant, scratching on the furniture for support then you can give a score of 30. 
the next one is iv or iv access so if your patient is having any intravenous access due a score of 20 if not zero fifth one is guide that is uh, nothing just the walking balance so if the patient is working normally or bed rest does not get out of the bed or using wheelchair you can given a score of zero if uh, your patient is having big guide that means the patient is too but is able to lift the whole hood while walking without losing balance the steps are short and the patient may suffer uh, then you can give the score 10 if the patient suffer then you can give the score uh, 10 if your patient is having impaired guide for example the patient may have difficulty rising from the chair attempting to get up by pushing on the arm of the chair or pounding the patient head is down and he or she watches the ground because the patient balance is poor patient that grabs onto the furniture a support person or a walking aid support and cannot walk without this assistant then you can give a score of 20 the last one is mental status so your patient knows his or her own limit you can give a score of zero if overestimate or forget their limit then go for a score of 15 so according to your patient condition you need to give the score and according to the score you need to intervention to prevent falls after this score if the total score uh, lies between 0 to 24 your patient is at low risk of fall if the total score between 25 to 44 your patient is at moderate risk of fall if the total score 45 or higher uh, then that your patient is at high risk of fall according uh, accordingly we need to do the interventions intervention to prevent fall next uh, we see about humpty dumpty scale so the humpty dumpty scale is used to assess the folder in pediatrics this also consists of six variables first one is age gender a diagnosis cognitive impairment environmental factor and the last one is medication usages so if the baby is less than three year old less than three year old then you can give a score of four if the age is between three to less than seven uh, give a score of three if the patient is seven to less than uh, seven to less than 13 year old you can give the score of two uh, if 13 year old and above give score one the second one is gender so if it is a boy you can give the score two if it is girl you can give score one third one is diagnosis so if there is any alteration in oxygenation for example respiratory diagnosis um, then dehydration anorexia syncope dizziness you can give a score of three if periactery or behavior disorder then you can give a score of two other than this 
any other diagnosis you can give the score 1 fourth one is cognitive impairment so if the baby is not aware of limitation you can give the score of 3 forget limitation you can give the score of 2 uh, oriented to own ability you can give score of 1 the fifth one is environmental factor so if there is any history of fall or it is an infant or daughter placed in a bed or wheelchair you can give the score of 4 if the child use any assistant device or it's a infant then give a score of 3 if the child placed in a bed then go for score of 2 if the patient does occupation outpatient area then you can give a score of 1 the last one is medication usage so if the baby is having multiple medication multiple medication like hypnotic barbiturates then phenothiazine and antidepressant then lazative or diuretics 3 this one you can give the score 3 any one of the medication listed above you can give the score of 2 any other medication exclusive all the medication which mention above and the baby is not uh, any um, on any medication then you can give the score of 1 after calculating the score if the score lies between 7 to 11 the child is at low risk of fall if the score is 12 or above the child at high risk of fall according accordingly we need to do the intervention to prevent fall let's see about that interventions to prevent fall first one is orient orient to room and surroundings as the patient uh, is new to the hospital it's our responsibility to orient the patient to room and the surrounding uh, the room should be clear of cluster, uh, clutter um, clear of clutter uh, and they should be adequate lighting then call bell education assist in all the activities of daily living call bell urinal and water bottle even if the patient is using eyeglass uh, everything need to be kept with within reach the side uh, rail should be always raised up and use safety belt when you are traveling the patient in a um, stretchers or using wheelchair then encourage the patient to wear non-skip slipper always lock the bed wheelchair then stretches and command review medication for the potential for risk so if uh, it's the responsibility of that physician if the patient risk of any medication then monitored for changing fall risk so frequent assessment is required educate the patient in case of pediatric not to leave the baby alone and frequent safety round is mandatory keep caution board while cleaning make sure the caution board is kept while cleaning the floor
Thanks for watching.